Greetings, YouTube Transformers Pigger reviewers. So Pigger, I'm and my name. And um, I thought uh, I would just <coughs> chime in on that little discussion uh, you've got going regarding how to improve your videos. Now this may seem a little bit bold for me because if you look into my channel, I haven't done anything yet. I plan on reviewing figures. I mean, I've got but enough. It's not. That's not the point. But break away here. Not just not just the Transformers figures, but also I mean, huge wrestling fan WWE figures. But nevertheless, I thought I'd just um, comment on on a few of the things uh, you guys mentioned. Um, it's about like like scripts. A lot of you were saying scripts. Yeah, that's something I need. Or others were saying no. Um, I just try to do it spontaneous. I would suggest doing a script because if not, you might just. It, it depends on your personality. I'm a, I'm a man who cannot literally live without sheets of paper to note some things. Uh, I would otherwise forget. Just. I can it for this short video, even made a, a list for this one, uh, for all the points uh, that I want to mention here, otherwise I make a video and after I'm done, oh man, we wanted to talk about this, we wanted to mention it. I would suggest doing just a basic script, just a few points that you um, want to mention in your review, because it helps to make the whole thing a bit more structured and not you know, jumping back and forth between different um, thematics or whatever. Just make some notes. I, I think that's that's not a bad thing. The comedy factor, some, not just some, but actually most of you were saying, ah yeah, it's just, I wanted to insert a little bit more comedy here and there. I don't know, uh, is, is that really necessary? My favorite YouTube um, Transformers video reviewer, YouTube figure reviewer, not video reviewer, is um, I'm sure you all know him, PR. He's he's a serious one. Yes, uh, yeah, and there he makes a little fun stuff too. But in general, he is he's, he's serious. Not like Sean Long. Nothing against Sean Long. So all the stuff he does with the figures. Um, all the talking and playing is a, it's cool uh, most of the times, but it's it's not really necessary. It's not it's not needed. And there are, I would suggest from all the different uh, points that you want to improve on your videos, I would say the comedy aspect is the least important by far. I mean, you don't want to end up like let's say it's it's just my opinion. Of the uh, I have the feeling he he tries way too hard to be funny and ends up being not funny at all. And that sometimes it's it always reminds me on one of the old Mad TV sketches with uh, Will Sasso. How was it called? It was the master of a game show. Uh, whose idea was it anyway? I believe. Every every time he, he said something funny, he turned around to the audience laughing like. <laughs> And they all they were all like no reaction at all. And turned around. Uh, well, um, okay, um, let's continue. I don't know if you if I if I find the episode on YouTube somewhere, I put a link down here or there or wherever. The subscribe button is so such as it's there. If you have the ability to be funny and you don't try just too hard, I say uh, go for it. But from all the other um, important aspects of how to improve your video, like the lighting, the setup, the camera quality, etc., 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 I say being funny is the least, by far least important point that you should work on. What else you have? The lighting, yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know. I have. I guess I'll just show you. I have two. Actually, I have two lamps here in my video. One is 
up there, uh, it's pretty bright, not so much uh, down here anymore, but these lamps are just, they have energy saving LEDs in, so they are not bright at all. Uh, that means, you can see, if, if I w would review a figure here, would I, it's, it's pretty dark, so a lot of you uh, were working on a window, near a window or whatever, um, that's, that's cool uh, if it would by day. Uh, I can't do it here because I have a lot of trees on, a lot of trees on the outside who uh, block that's a bit, uh, who block the sunlight and uh, it's getting pretty dark in here. So I would definitely have to use some kind of setup with of course sheets of cardboard or whatever um, and lens. One of you I can't remember who it was. And um, he said he bought something like like a photo tent, which can which you can pull up, and it comes with two lamps. And I've seen that somewhere in some internet shop, um, and that was actually look, looking pretty good. I mean, I have the can't remember the dimensions right now of it, but it should be sufficient. It should have enough space to put a figure in there and uh, work on it. So I guess. And such a setup is uh, definitely a good idea. Otherwise, yeah, if you if you are lucky enough to have um, enough daylight in your room or by your window, um, go for it. In my kitchen, there is actually most of the time the sun shines in there, so it's pretty bright when it's here dark already. But <laughs> the problem is, I have another building um, right on the opposite side of the street. It's not too far away, and I live in the, in the in the basement here, and they can all look into my kitchen, and I don't know uh, what they would say. <laughs> Somebody sits there messing around with some figures and the camera there. I will make it here. So, yes, lighting definitely. You want your viewers to see, uh, to notice what what you're doing. Uh, otherwise, if it's too if it's too dark, uh, it just won't work out. 